Hi, I'm Ben from Impulse Wireless and I'm here to talk about our integrated push-to-talk two-way communications and body-worn video solution. We have the rugged PTT handset RPH4, the Mission Critical Portable MCP5, which uses us both push-to-talk over 4G and UHF digital radio, and the body-worn camera, which acts as your PTT radio as well as a body-worn camera. Now, the camera in the camera is obvious, but the RPH4 and MP MCP5 also have front-facing cameras here and here. So they can both act as a body-worn camera as well as your two-way radio with the coverage of whatever 4G network you're using, Telstra, Optus or Vodafone. So if a user in the field needs to record or live stream, they simply press the front button on the camera, Video short on. press to initiate a standard Video recording. To do a live stream, I can press and hold, and it will both record and live stream at the same time. This device also has pre-recording, so it will record up to 30 seconds of video and audio before you've actually pressed. So what happens when a field user starts live streaming? They press and hold the button and it comes into a pop-up window on the video dispatcher. Video record on. So this can now be made full screen as is, or we can close this window and it will dock back into the video grid. In the video grid, we can double click, go full screen. We can press to monitor the audio as well as the live video. Obviously, we can press the push to talk button down in the bottom left and communicate like we would on a two-way radio. Or we can actually initiate to hang up and to finish that live stream, or the user can do that. Whenever it's recording, the red light will be flashing both on top so the user can see it and on the front so the person being recorded can see it. Stop video dispatcher. Video record off. I've set up a second camera looking out the window to demonstrate how we can actually initiate a remote monitor for a camera. And the video dispatcher can trigger this and view video and listen to audio. You can listen to the audio at the same time as the live video stream. Again, we can double click on it to make it full screen. Now, if we've got one camera live streaming and somebody else presses an SOS or initiates a live stream, it will just come in at the same time. So the siren goes off on the Sorry, just cancelling the hot mic there. So when you press SOS, a siren goes off on the device that's initiated it and also on all the recipient devices that are open on that talk group and on the dispatch console. Again, we can close this pop-up window and it will dock into the video grid. We can listen to the audio um, and when we're finished, we can simply close that down and the recordings will be recorded on the server. Another great thing about the incident management is that we've got this red on the talk group indicating that we had an emergency and it's actually going to request that we acknowledge the emergency. In this case, we're inside, so we haven't picked up GPS yet. Um, but that will actually record the SOS event. So later on in our history, we can go through and we can see when the SOS events were, who they were, the time, the location, and who dealt with it. That's a really quick overview of our integrated body-worn camera and push-to-talk two-way communications solutions. Thanks for watching.